In this video, I am going to show you the protocols involved in ultrasound guided liver biopsy. So here we have a true cut biopsy needle which is of 22 mm and 18 gauge and then we have some glass slides and we have a box to carry the slides. We have two containers filled with 10% formalin to keep the tissue for histopathology. We also have a portable pulse oximeter as the whole biopsy procedure will be done under general anesthesia it is very crucial to monitor the patient's heart rate respiration and spo2 just like a pre-operative checkup even for ultrasound guided biopsy we need to make sure that the serum biochemistry is normal uh, hematologically the dog is fine there is no signs of anemia and most importantly we need to estimate the coagulation profile which is prothrombin time and actual activated partial thromboplastin time so for that we need to collect the whole blood in citrated vial an hour before uh, the patient undergoes the procedure so in the laboratory the citrated blood will be centrifuged and the plasma will be separated from which they will be estimating the pt and aptt although ultrasound guided biopsy is a minimally invasive procedure the chances of bleeding post biopsy is not uncommon by ensuring the patient's pt and aptt is normal we will be sure that the hemostasis is under control Luckily for our patient, the hemostasis was normal. Hence, we proceeded with the patient preparation for biopsy. First thing we did was to get an IV access to administer fluids, pain medications and anesthesia. We also prepared the abdomen by shaving it cleanly for biopsy. For sedation, we used azepromazine and atropine. For induction and maintenance, we used propofol. After inducing anesthesia, we started to put endotracheal tube. Endotracheal tube will help us to intervene in some anesthetic complications. Now it was time to monitor anesthesia. Before you take the biopsy, we need to do a survey ultrasonography to check how the organ appears and where the lesions are exactly located, which will help the doctor to exactly take the biopsy from that particular location. Now the dog is actually placed in ventrodorsal position the dog is in surgical plane as you can see we are monitoring it here the veterinarian is uh, looking for the lesion on the liver now the lesion is located we are going to take a biopsy so he is inserting the biopsy needle into the liver to take a quick biopsy from liver and it can be done twice or thrice from different locations and this is how it looks under ultrasonography as you can see a needle passing through the lesion and now the needle is withdrawn and this is the size of the tissue that we took from the liver these tissue samples are put in container filled with 10% formalin you can also make impression smears from the sample you collected. Here I chose to make a crush cytology since the tissue was extremely fragile. Meanwhile the patient did recover very well and we had given all the pain medications and fluid therapy. The patient did not experience much pain. Once he completely recovered, we sent him home with his parents. And this was our sample under microscopy. As you can see, it is a small part of his liver. Luckily, the report did not show any signs of chronic tissue injury or cirrhosis, which is a good news because his condition can be treated. I hope this video was informative. I just wanted to walk you through uh, the protocols we follow during ultrasound guided liver biopsy and what happens to your pet before, during and after the procedure. I hope this video was informative. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Uh, I'll see you all in another video. Till then, take care and bye.